Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to my Shark Movie Collection for 2020. Uh, again, today starts the day for Shark Week. Uh, Shark Week's been going on for quite some time. Always good information on sharks, and of course, watching shark movies. Um, sometimes there's some really good ones out there, and of course, there's a lot of shitty shark flicks. But a lot of times, these shitty shark flicks are very entertaining. You turn your brain off, you watch a bunch of people get munched by sharks... And it's happy. <laughs> so without further ado, I got a big ass stack to go through. I'm not gonna talk about much about them because I probably won't get done. <laughs> so I did mostly get this enough, but a quarter. We'll go through the DVDs first, followed by the Blu-rays. Uh, right off the bat, we have 12 Days of Terror. Uh, it's supposedly based on true events. So I see it's actually not bad. We have. Oh, there you go. See, already off. Uh, three-headed shark attack. <laughs> yep, shark with three heads. Uh, good old sci-fi channel asylum movie. Then I have this I found at a pawn shop. 90210 shark attack. Yes, this girl wears a pendant that pretty much turns her head into a shark and she eats people on land. Yeah, so that's that movie. Uh, sharks are not famed to always to water in killer shark movies. We have avalanche sharks. Yes, sharks in the snow. Uh, fun shit. Turn your brain off movie. We have a bootleg of Cruel Jaws. Supposedly, uh, Severn is putting this out on Blu-ray. I hope they do. Would be nice to get this uh, hodgepodge of multiple shark movies mixed into one into this movie. See, they've got like, a weird Hulk Hogan type dude in this. So, Cruel Jaws. Hopefully it gets a blue. We'll see. Uh, next we have is Cyclone. Synets put this movie out. It's got a lot of shark attacks in it. it. Has to do with much more to it as well. But I threw it into the mix. Dam sharks. Sharks that make a dam. In the river and starts munching on people in the water. So yeah. I'm going to try to get as close as possible. So if you want to pause it. I think I missed up on a couple of the ones, but yeah. Next we have is Dark Water with Lorenzo Lamas. Uh, fun little, another weird killer shark flick. Mm -hmm. Next we have a double feature of Deadly Jaws and Night of the Sharks. Uh, and one of them predates Jaws, which is Deadly Jaws. But Jaws came out, I think, in 75. So this could be more of an action flick. But I have it in the collection. We will see. And this is an Italian line by Joe D'Amato put this one out called Deep Blood. It's a weird Italian flick about kids who made a pact. The cat, the pet is broken. They had to fight off a shark. It's really weird. Cruel Jaws used a couple scenes in that. Oh, next up we have from Bill Zabub. <laughs> now, of course, is Dick Shark. That is an actual movie. <laughs> I don't want to show the back because it's got some interesting stuff to it. Uh, another sci-fi channel flick, Ice Sharks. Uh, takes place in the Arctic where a research station is being attacked by sharks in ice water. Next up we have... The Last Shark. This is another Jaws ripoff with Vic Morrow. And I think this one is a pressed disc, which is awesome. So hopefully someday this will get a Blu-ray release. But Last Shark is awesome. It's a fun little movie. Uh, next we have is uh, Mako, uh, The Jaws of Death. This one is about a guy who uses his Mako shark pet. He feeds it to him. Kind of like eating alive. This one has to do with a shark. Uh, we have is Megalodon. Uh, this was like a weird made for TV movie. I remember video renting this on VHS. We have Raging Sharks with Corbin Nemrick. It's a fun, another weird 
turn your brain off. Killer Shark Flick. And then we have Red Waters with uh, Lou Diamond Phillips. And I think this one's got Coolio in it. Yep, Coolio plays a bad guy. <laughs> so yeah, that's, this is actually another fun one. It was like a made-for-TV movie. So that's good. Next we have is the Shark Bait Collection. This has uh, Ghost Shark, Mississippi River Sharks, Ozark Sharks, Santa Jaws, which is the reason why I bought it, Swamp Shark, Zombie Shark, and a bonus of Alligator Alley, which is also known as Raging Cajun Shark, uh, Raging Cajun Gators. So, this is a fun little multi-pack of shark movies. Uh, <laughs> I did keep it, and that's Shark Exorcist, put out by Wild Eye. And I just realized some of these are not in order. Fuck it. Uh, we have uh, Nightmare Shark, so I apologize that some of these are not in order, but I did my best. I have a ton of them, and I'm not doing this video again. <laughs> Another Wild Eye, Ouija Shark. This just looked fun as hell. I can't wait to get this one a spin. I heard it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Another Turn Your Brain Off flick. It looks goofy as hell. So, Ouija Shark, what the hell, why not? We have... All right, Proteus. Proteus is kind of like a, um, it is a shark movie, but it's a mutated shark monster. It's like a humanoid shark creature that can morph into other humans. And when it shows its final form, it's a smart shark. It's awesome. I love Proteus. I uh, hope this ever gets a Region 1 release someday, but this is a Region 2. Uh, let's see here. We've got sand sharks. Yep, now we're in the sand. <laughs> it's fun. It's goofy. Turn your brain off. Uh, shark Hunter. Another made-for-TV movie. This one's got Antonio Sabato Jr. And I forgot to grab it. It's over here. Uh, where are you? This triple pack, which is not this one. What the fuck is it? Ah. In the Man Eater series, I forgot to put it in the collection. We have Shark Swarm. Uh, it's another sci-fi flick. I'm keeping all the these together in one section. So, but Shark Swarm for the Man Eater series. We have Sharkenstein. <laughs> uh, goofy sci um Wild Eye release. This is done by uh, I want to say Mark Polonia who did the uh, the movie and yep Mark Polonia who did the, the special effects was done by what's his face I can't believe I forgot his name but I'm a big fan of his stuff y'all you know who I'm talking about so yep Sharkenstein. Then we have Sharknado uh, Feeding Frenzy. This is the documentary on the Sharknado 1 and 2. Supposedly the whole lightning in the bottle that shot and sparked the whole Sharknado franchise. Uh, Saltwater Atomic Shark. Another weird sci-fi channel flick about this nuclear shark going around eating people and melting people. Yeah, it melts them. Uh, Spring Break Shark Attack. This is a CBS made-for-TV shark movie, so that's kind of neat. I remember watching that on CBS. Another sci-fi channel flick, Super Shark. Pretty much a giant big-ass shark versus a walking tank. <laughs> that's fun as hell. Alright, oh, one more DVD. And then we have Trailer Park Shark. <laughs> This shark like emits electricity and electrocutes people and eats people. Goofy fun. Again, these are not made to be serious. They're just turn your brain off, have a good time. All right, that should be it for the DVDs. Let's get on to the blues. Right off the bat, we have the Blu-ray double feature of Two-Headed Shark Attack and Mecha Shark versus Crocosaurus. 
The only reason why I got this was because this does not have a US uh, single release, so I grabbed the double pack. So why not? Alright, uh, 47 meters down, I have in storage uh, In the Depths, which was the original release of this movie, and it was recalled to come up as 47 meters down. Uh, I was going to find it somewhere, but it's buried, <laughs> but it's in protection. And I also have 47 meters down uncaged. Go for fun. We have bad CGI sharks put up by Sub Rosa and SRS Cinema. Yeah, that's what it is. It's bad CGI sharks flying around eating people. <laughs> uh, we got Bait. I love this movie. It's an Australian flick. Takes place in an under, underground uh, supermarket. A typhoon hits it. Buries people in the water, and I have feeding sharks in the supermarket. Fun as hell. Peter Benchley's Creature, made for TV movie, based on his book White Shark. Awesome flick. So glad that got a Blu ray release because the DVD was out of print. Dino Shark, done by Roger Corman, another sci fi channel flick, another goofy one. And of course, we have. Deep Blue Sea, classic killer shark flick. The sequel, Deep Blue Sea 2, which was not as good as the first one, but it regains its value with Deep Blue Sea 3. I was surprised how well this was done, so if you're thinking about grabbing it, definitely buy Deep Blue Sea 3. Uh, we have Frenzy, and it's not that good. People say it's not bad, but it's rough, but if you get through it, you can get through it. I did grab the uh, UK release of Ghost Shark with the lenticular cover. I love this movie. It's so stupid, but so fun. Then we have House Shark, put out by Sobros and SRS Cinema. Shark in a house, baby. This one is so much fun. Low budget goodness. You got a shark fin in the toilet seat. People get munched. Big rip off of Jaws, but in the house. And speaking of that, we got the mama of all shark movies, good old Jaws, the 4K release with the lenticular cover. And of course we have Jaws 2, which I really do enjoy. I, yeah, and Jaws 3 I do enjoy as well. It's a guilty pleasure. No, a lot of people hate this movie. I actually like it. But I'm not a big fan of Jaws 4, but I have to have it because it's Jaws. Then we have uh, Jersey Shore Shark Attack. Yeah, the Jersey Shore versus Sharks. Oh, so stupid. Then we have the the Meg Steelbook. Uh, awesome flick. I've seen it several times. I might pop it in tonight because uh, I'm in for a shark movie. Then we have the Meg Shark Collection. Uh, this one has eight movies. You can get the DVD pretty cheap. But if you want to get this Blu-ray, it's out of print. And if you can, try to find it cheap. But it has uh, Toxic Shark, Shark in Venice, Malibu Shark Attack, Shark Man, which is also known as Hammerhead, with the one with Jeffrey Combs. Then you have the reason why I bought it, Mega Shark, uh, no, Shark Attack, Shark Attack 2, and Shark Attack 3. Uh, the Shark Attack movies have been out of print and hard to find, except for Part 2. The third one is through the roof, pricey. And then you also have Shark Zone. So if you want to pause it right here and take a look at those films. I watched this Blu-ray. It's actually pretty good. They're condensed in two discs. But yeah. Then we have uh, Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. This is the first one. Crocosaurus was part two. And Mega Shark vs. Mecha Shark is part three. Part four is Colossus, which I don't own. At some point I probably will. Then we have the Open Water Trilogy. Um, yeah, Open Water, the pretty freaky for what it is. Then we have Piranha Sharks. This is a German release, Region B. Uh, no release at all in the US. Little mini sharks swimming around eating people. It's stupid, but it's stupid fun. Then we have The Reef, really good flick. If you've never seen The Reef, I highly recommend it. 
uh, people get stranded in the ocean and have to swim to find the sh find land while getting the sharks. Uh, the Shallows, really impressed with this movie. Had a great time with it. Love that lenticular cover. So yeah. Uh, shark Lake with Dolph Lundgren. It could have been better, but it is a shark movie. I figured, what the hell, why not? Then we have Shark Night. Now, fuck you, Best Buy, with those goddamn stickers. That's what I'm stuck with. So if you get Shark Night with the case, don't peel the sticker off. That's going to happen. But the movie is actually not bad. It's it's fun. I remember seeing it in the theaters. So, yeah, Shark Night. Then we have uh, a discovery with Shark Week. This is one of their discovery ones. This one is Jaws of Steel Collection. This is two discs. And it also has... Now, earlier I showed you the 12 Days of Terror uh, movie. It has the 12 Days of Terror on here, a made-for-TV for the Discovery Channel movie. So it has that movie built in with this as well. So it's kind of like a two-for-one. You get all the cool shit from Shark Week, plus you get an extra movie. So, yeah, that's why I got it. Uh, next we have this Shark Week, which is also known as Shark Island on DVD. Pretty much people are on an island and they have to escape these traps. Each trap involves a shark. And of course it gets progressively harder and the sharks get progressively bigger. <laughs> this actually wasn't bad. Then we have Snow Shark. Still can't believe this got a Blu-ray. So yeah, takes place in the snow, low budget goodness. Then we have another uh, German release of Summer Shark Attack. This is also known as Ozark Sharks. At the time, this didn't have a release at all, but in that multi-pack on the the shark bait one, it's on there. But I got the Blu-ray, so I was happy to have both. Then we have Shark and Saw in a Women's Prison. Uh, Jim Wynorski film put up by Scream Factory. It's fun. This is just stupid fun. I enjoyed this one. Then, of course, we have huh, Sharknado. Sharknado Part 2. Sharknado Part 3. Sharknado Part 4. Sharknado Part 5. Hey, guess what? There's Sharknado Part 6. I got them all. <laughs> uh, they're fun, they're stupid. Yeah, that's what the shark needles are for, entertainment. Then we have uh, Sharktopus, another Roger Corman, multi-mixed uh, feature. I didn't put Monster Shark in with this mix. I like keeping it as devil fish, and to me it doesn't really feel like a shark movie, like a more mutated, weird fish creature. So of course I got the German release of Sharktopus versus Terracuda. <laughs> Yep, Region B. It does have English to it. And of course I got the German release of Sharktopus vs. Werewolf. Got them all. So yeah, for some reason it doesn't have a US release. I don't understand why. And last of my killer shark films. Up from the Depths, put up by Scream Factory. Uh, it did have a DVD release. It was a com Roger Corman combo pack with Devil... Demon of Paradise, but they released this blue single release Blu ray through their website only. I had to jump on it. I love this movie. The prehistoric shark looks weird, it gets pretty stupid at some points to a comedy almost. Then back to a serious killer shark movie. <laughs> it's weird, but yeah, that's it. That is my shark collection uh, video for 2020. I'm gonna, actually going to put all these in a pile and put them in a separate spot. I have all my shark movies. So, of course, when more comes, I can know exactly where to put them. And hopefully, if I go through my collection, I didn't miss any. If I did, oh well. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, collection overview. Let me know in the thoughts down below your thoughts on shark movies. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Are you sick of them? Do you want more? So, yeah. And what's your favorite sh killer shark movie? Of course, mine is Jaws. That's, it's just, that's what it is. But if you have other ones that are besides Jaws that's your favorite, 
like to know your thoughts down below, guys. Again, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't, like and subscribe. And put some comments down below, guys. Have yourself a good one. And if there's any other killer shark movies that I don't own that I should, let me know. Because I need more shark movies. Later, guys. Peace.